President Kennedy has been shot in Dallas, Texas. Five assassinations caught on camera. Please be aware that viewer discretion is advised. Number 5. Alexander I of Yugoslavia Alexander I of Yugoslavia, also known as Alexander the Unifier, was King of Yugoslavia in 1921, up until his death in 1934, and was successor of his father, Peter I of Serbia, the first king of the Serbs, Croats, the Slovenians, and the last king of Serbia. On the 9th of October 1934, Alexander was being driven through the streets of Marseille, France, alongside the French Foreign Minister, Louis Barthou, as part of a state visit to improve relations between the two countries. While they were being slowly driven, a gunman later identified as Vlado Chernozemsky, an experienced marksman and Bulgarian member of the IMRO, emerged from the crowd and fired his gun over ten times. Alexander and the chauffeur were killed, and Barthou was fatally wounded in the arm, but died later due to inadequate medical treatment. It was revealed in 1974, 40 years after the incident took place, that Barthou was possibly mistakenly killed by a French policeman. This footage was significant for being one of the first assassinations ever caught on film. Although the actual moment of the shooting was not caught on film, the events leading to and aftermath of the assassination were filmed. The perpetrator can be seen in the footage being cut down by the sword of a mounted French policeman, and then beaten to death by the crowd. It's a gala day in Marseille! Vive Alexander! Vive Le Roi! Oh, they've been shot! Oh, he is dying and Barthou's fatally wounded! The crowd is infuriated! Number 4. Yitzhak Rabin on the evening of the 4th of November 1995, the 5th Prime Minister of Israel and 1994 Nobel Peace Prize winner for his creation of the Oslo Accords, Yitzhak Rabin was assassinated by Igal Amir. Amir was an Orthodox Jew and opposed the signing of the Oslo Accords, a set of agreement that established peace between the government of Israel and the Palestine Liberation Organization. On that fateful evening in Tel Aviv, where the rally that Rabin had attended finished, Amir fired three shots at Rabin as he walked towards his car. Two of the bullets hit Rabin, whilst one merely hit one of Rabin's bodyguards, slightly injuring him. Rabin was immediately rushed to hospital, however he died on the operating table just 40 minutes later, as a result of blood loss and a punctured lung. Here is the footage. Number 3. Enejiro Asanuma Enejiro Asanuma was a Japanese politician and leader of the Japan Socialist Party. During a live televised debate on the 12th of October 1960, Asanuma was assassinated by a 17-year-old militant nationalist by the name of Otoya Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi rushed the stage and stabbed Asanuma in the abdomen using a traditional samurai sword, killing him. Yamaguchi was captured at the scene of the crime and was kept in a juvenile detention centre. However, less than three weeks after committing the crime, Yamaguchi hung himself from a light fixture, using his bedsheets as a makeshift rope. Here is the footage, and just a word of warning, there are graphic images, so viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Number 2. Lee Harvey Oswald Former US Marine and alleged assassin of JFK, Lee Harvey Oswald, 
was mortally wounded on November 22, 1963, just two days after the assassination of John F. Kennedy, by Dallas nightclub owner Jack Ruby. As police officers escorted Oswald through the underground car park of the Dallas Police Headquarters, Ruby fired just one shot and the bullet penetrated Oswald's abdomen, subsequently killing him due to a hemorrhage that resulted from the wound. Oswald's assassination was broadcast live in front of millions of people, and Oswald can be heard releasing a cry of agony as he was shot. Once again, viewer discretion is advised. His assailant moves in from the right. He's been shot. He's been shot. The Oswald has been shot. Number 1. John F. Kennedy Arguably one of the most famous and recognizable assassination attempts in history was that of John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy was 35th President of the United States of America, who served from January 1961 up until his death in November of 1963. Whilst travelling in an open-topped Lincoln Continental, President Kennedy was shot by a sniper in the throat, followed by another shot in the side of the head seconds later. He was only 46 years old at the time, and remains the youngest US president to die. The killer was identified as Lee Harvey Oswald, who was later assassinated himself before he could be prosecuted as seen at number 2. There have been countless conspiracy theories relating to JFK's death, however, that can be discussed in another video. The following clip contains graphic details, so viewer discretion is highly advised. Don't forget to leave your comments down below and give this video a like and a share. Also, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe, as we upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks for watching.